Okay, I'm just going to do a quick dialogue edit on this particular scene. We've got a master shot. We've got two over-the-shoulder shots. I'm going to just take the first couple of lines and play through it. So I'm going to stop before the waitress comes in uh, just to give us an idea. I'm going to hit Shift-I to go to the end point here. Uh, Spacebar plays it. If I hit L again while it's playing and make it go twice as fast. So I'm going to make an end point right here as she's walking in. I makes an end point. I'm just going to mark an out point there. So I'm just going to do a couple of lines so you get a feel for it. Uh, I'm going to hit the letter E. What that does is it writes it into the timeline. I've got some weird footage, so it's asking me what type of format it is. It's just some weird footage from a, a book CD. Uh, so now I'm going to go in and find each of the lines that the characters say while they're facing the camera. That's when he says, yeah, I'm going to mark I and O. If I want to hit Command Plus or Command Equals, you can see on the screen there, I can zoom into it, see it a little bit more uh, close. So I can hit F to favorite that. Uh, Shift O is a handy little shortcut, takes you to the out point. I need your help. I need to find someone. I makes an endpoint. Not interested. It's not something I do anymore. I'm going to mark that with F for favorite. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put these into the timeline. Mr. Roth. And if I hold down K and tap J, it'll back me up one frame at a time. So here's this one right here where he says, yeah. And incidentally, if you hit the question mark or the slash key down by the shift on the right hand side, yeah. it plays your selection. So I like that question mark. What does this look like? Hit the question mark. Uh, D will override it to the timeline. And I'm going to take his next line and put it down here. I need your help. I need to find someone. I'm going to put it right here. D will overwrite that. Select this one. Just going to delete it. Okay. Uh, so it's actually okay that we cut back out to this master shot as she sits down. So I'm going to leave that, and then I'm going to cut to her shot when I see her face. So I need to find that. I need to find some listening out. Jay goes backwards. I need your help. I need your help. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back a little bit further just as she gets situated I need your help I need to find someone and mark an endpoint out point rather there uh, hit F for favorite uh, and you hit favorite just because you can go back and grab those quicker when you do that um, so let's cut to her as she's just sitting down right there and I'm gonna hit uh, D just to see what happens. Now I'm going to look down here at the timeline and I'm going to watch when I hit D see what happens. So what it did is it pushed out the other edit that I had. Uh, so I'm actually instead of hitting D I'm going to hit W and it's going to wedge it in between there. Then I'm going to delete this part over here. So now I've got that clip in there that way. Uh, another thing I could do if I back it up a little bit is I could hit I and then now that I have that selected I could hit D and it fills up that space that I had marked there. That's a pretty handy technique. That's some advanced level stuff right there. It's called a three point edit. And basically what it means is I had a point here. That's uh, the end point that I had marked. A point there, that's the out point. And then I had the start point here and that's where it lined up. Okay, so watch that again. I'm gonna undo that whole thing. So here's the markings that I have in the timeline. Here's the clip that I had favorited. And if I hit D, it's gonna fill that space. Okay, so let's watch. Okay, so now what we want to do is go through here. We may decide that we want certain parts of this scene to be sped up a little bit. Yeah. You know, like right there. You know, I want to see him sit there for a second and kind of stare at the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these clips. And I'm going to go up to the uh, clip menu and choose expand audio video. I actually remember the shortcut to this, control S, because I use it a lot. So I'm gonna try control S, because this is the type of thing you use a lot. 
uh, switch over to the trim tool and I'm gonna take that edit point and I'm gonna pull it back in the timeline okay so now as soon as she says his name we're gonna cut to his face Mr. Roth. I need your help. I need to find someone. Okay, now I happen to cut off the audio a little bit there. So what I can do is I can take the end of that and I can pull that out, catch the end of that phrase. I'm gonna do the same with the, the clip here. I wanna cut to him just as she's finishing this line. So this is a way to smooth out these edit points. If you're watching TV or a movie, you're never gonna see the audio and video happen right at the same time. This is gonna cut to the video and then it's gonna cut to his audio while her audio is still going, we're gonna see his video and vice versa. I need your help. I need to find someone. Not interested. It's not something I do anymore. There we go. Now the last thing I really wanna do in order to clean this up is I'm gonna go back to the regular edit tool and I'm gonna pull each of these edits over the edge. And this is called, I call it checkerboarding the audio. So if I drag those edges over just a little bit, then I grab the fade handles and pull them in just a little bit. I'm talking about a frame or two. You see that little highlight there? It's telling me one frame, there's two frames. So I'm barely moving these fade handles. And what that does is it's gonna smooth out the audio as you work your way through it. So this will be way better than anything else. I need your help. I need to find someone. Not interested. It's not something I do anymore. I'm actually going to grab this right here. This is a little distracting. Let's pull that in a little bit. I can select this. I can hit Command T. That's the default transition. Notice that little fade there. I'm actually going to select everything like I did. I'm going to try that shortcut that I just learned. Control S. Notice you get these little grayed out areas to show you that when that audio is expanded, it's showing you that the audio continues from the previous clip. And this is a nice smooth edit. Maybe add a gap in the front, Option W, uh, Control D to make it a second long. Okay, I just hit one second and period, hit enter. I'm gonna select here, Command T again, there we go.